Hey guys, so first time I'm trying the a end mill that's made for dynamic milling. I got a lot of stainless parts, so I wanted to try this out. This is uh, from uh, Hoffman. So yeah, and check this. <laughs> Not good. I had a major crash on the five axis. <laughs> so, new C axis, Y axis, and spindle. So, that's really annoying. So, yeah. But, uh, one second and let me get this tool loaded up. I will try. Also, I'm trying these Tego Tech face mill inserts they need to run dry in 316 this is 316 excuse me about the mess uh, they need to run dry yeah so. hey one second Morning. Uh, uh. Sorry. I haven't had my three cups of coffee yet. I'm here early. Keeping the lathe going. Making these. So Let me get over here. These are the stainless parts. As you can hear, I need to change the inserts on the Tego Tech. Face color. I need to change the inserts every 33 minutes, so that's not too bad in 316 stainless. Could be better, but could definitely be worse. So, but uh, these uh, trochoidal end mills, uh, I can't find it from uh, from Hoffman. These ones are running very, very good. I am very impressed. Running 150 surface meters. 0.8 step over. Uh, 600, 800, uh, 800 of a millimeter in feet. Seven flutes. Very good in mill. So I can only recommend trying this out if you got some stainless parts. <laughs> 